damage based on elements. Well, it's usually if, except for Geo, you put a uh, Sucrose in the team or Kazuha with full elemental mastery and maybe sacrificial for for easy I mean if you're not good with the rotation for, for newbies uh, the, the buff will be overall for the team but if you're you are good with the rotations you go with trading tails for big nuke damage so for elements this is the except for geo you must have an animal character like sucrose that buffs the damage of the team with the bird doesn't Uh, constellations will help. So Sucrose buffs the team's elemental mastery for reactions. Depends for team. So one of the basic basic teams uh, here as well. Uh, she also buffs the team. She buffs the team with this passive and this passive. So and then buffs the team with. The bird descent and can buff the team as well with this sacrificial or can mega buff for your DPS if you're good with rotation. Artifacts, it depends on the character. For Ningguang, What Ningguang? So for Shangling, so you need the national team for Shangling. So you need the uh, Hydro for Vaporize, and then Bennett for the Buff Snapshot. So your Shangling artifacts depends on what you have. But what I have right now is. Uh, this is a support Shangling. So, but you can, if you want more damage with Shangling, you can go for four piece emblem with uh, energy recharge spear or DPS spear or four piece crimson. But, but emblem would be like universal, at least you have a lot of energy recharge. But for the Best DPS Crimson and try to get some energy recharge, some stats. So Shangling National, you can't go wrong with that. Go with a Shangling National like, like this. For Ningguang, that's a tricky one. So let's say it is as the stars foretold. Let's say. Let's say Ito is your Ningguang, if you want Ningguang to be me, yes. So you need something like this. So your artifacts, if you DPS, two-piece Petra, two-piece Glad, or two-piece... Any two-piece, two-piece... Uh, two-piece Noblesse. I think for Ningguang, it's a two-piece, two-piece. Two piece R, two piece Petra, two piece Noblesse, or two piece Glad, two piece Noblesse or Petra, or you can replace the Glad with the two piece uh, Shimenawa. And it's gonna be hard for me, in my opinion, to make uh, in Guam main DPS, so that's gonna be tough. Well, I guess if you have C4 Goro, so uh, when you burst with Goro, and then Solidify. Shred, and then Let me with uh, Mona with the uh, thrilling, thrilling Tails, and then you burst, and then you unleash, unleash Ningguang's burst. Let's have a, a bit of free, free to play friendlier. It's gonna be hard. Mono Geo is gonna be hard. Uh, uh, 
have a lot of difficulty making trying to make lingua mini pens. With something like this, you can heal the. Yeah, where's lingua? So with artifacts, your teams should always have a noblesse. And then your your supports will have different artifacts based on their roles. If you want them to be a support or sub DPS, but you should always have a noblesse on. In a oh, that, that's not an optimal team comp, so you're you're going to have the very very difficult time. So uh, yeah, so I guess just going for meta team comps like uh, national shangling. Teams. So you just gotta wait until you can are able to farm the save your your uh, resin until you're able to farm the level four level five or six domains. So, uh, uh, I can't remember what they are do you need but if you want to have an easier time with the abyss uh, build a shangling national team at least uh, one of your teams will be meta so that's how this is my third account and that's how this account, account started so see how broken this is. Alright, so channeling is free. You can't go wrong with channeling. You just have to have the right uh, team comps. So with artifacts, if you want uh, more damage for the team, you should go for a full elemental mastery so close. So that's the one of the key factors. My main is Dilo, but it's he's on my main account. But this account is a Raiden C4 main. Uh, Animal Traveler for the meantime, but eventually you'll get support. Uh, try to run animal no traveler for the meantime to the very descent. So animal traveler maybe animal traveler then melt shangling with a uh, strong yun hey Come on, come on. Oh, do you have Hazel? Why oh, he's so broken? He can be a four piece very decent user while being a driver and being a on field DPS as well. Remove all obstacles. Shine down. While your Shangling is doing her thing and deleting stuff. But you can you can uh, you should Go for vaporize or no Xiang Ling if you want uh, the best damage. Elemental wise. Illusion shattered. And then uh, yeah, you should focus on pyro and vaporize and melt reactions. And then uh, the second element I can second team comp I can recommend is making a freeze comp. Well that also depends on which characters you can <laughs> If you you can get the strong cryo characters, but if you're a beginner, if you don't have sucros, you can still go with the Shangling national team uh, or a traveler. So let's say this is the animal traveler. So if you don't have Xingqiu. You might have Kaya, 
just or you could go with Chong Yun and then you could maybe get a National team. So let me just. So let's say oh, no. we don't have a wind blade. Let's get a wind blade. So you should, from this, from when you start playing, you, you should already have a projected meta team comp. So I could recommend if you want an easier life in Abyss. So I could really recommend getting. A national Shangling team down. So I think for free to players or newer players, I think uh, you will you might be able to have already uh, Animo Traveler, Shangling, and Chong Yun, hopefully. So if not, Kaya for the meantime. But uh, I can't recommend for the long term. But we just keep playing until you get Chong Yun and Bennett, so this could be like free to play friendly. Okay, so alright. Swift and merciful. Uh, we can go like this. Uh, this is a bad rotation, but oh, just just don't see six your Bennett, so you can have something like this. So the problem is Bennett was C6, so so right now you're. Your traveler is uh, cryo infused. So you can have notes. Go with the meta elements. See, we have notes here. Uh, that's 15k damage. Go back along. And it's also gonna be tricky, so uh, you need to get lucky as well with artifacts. You need you need the right builds, min max. So should, which element you need your character is try to get a real good goblet. So crit damage if you need more crit damage, crit rate if you need more crit rate. <clears throat> so try to get crit damage and crit rate. So this is my ratio, I'm fine with this. So your, uh, for me, uh, your crit rate shouldn't be below 50%. Your crit damage should be around like, depends on the character. But most characters, uh, for me, I think uh, I would need like, uh, up to 200% crit damage if I can. It, it depends on how you build your teams. But if you want a huge boost in damage for beginners... Oh, he's in a bless. It should, it should be a very decent. So... <laughs> Not a uh, huge damage. My experiment. So you should have a very decent user. The honors. And learn how to do the rotations. And for free to play for starter characters, so go with people rising now. Uh, this is only my third account, not the best one. Okay, so try to learn the big damage rotations if you have like Mona. Swap your mini gas with the killing things buff. And then, so this is pretty insane. Huge damage buff here with C2. And use her burst, so that's. 58% damage bonus. So learn how to play with multipliers as well. So for main DPS, it depends per character, but if you 
should have really good crit ratios, preferably 200% crit damage at least. 190, 180 is still doable. Uh, my, my Raiden, characters like Raiden and Ito can do fine with low, with less than 200% crit damage because they have a lot of other multipliers. Like, she has like energy recharge multipliers. So. Yeah, you just need to keep farming and try to get these kinds of artifacts. But you also need to learn how to rotate. Learn how to use the supports, the plans, tenacity. So see, sir, I have a Shangling here. My Shangling is weird. She's a tenacity user. But you can see there. I can do like tons of damage without the Kazuma. Yes, if you are like have doing a reaction team like Vaporize, Electrocute, Melt, Limited Mastery, uh, matters, but you don't need to go for it with your characters. It depends on the character. You can get you can buff the team with Elemental Mastery with Sucrose. Uh, Sucrose only does full EM because she buffs the team how much EM she has but I don't b bother about the elemental mastery for example uh, my hyper raid in here her elemental mastery is only 23 I don't bother with that you should focus with crit rate crit damage and their multipliers like energy recharge for Ito defense you should have, you should have a good attack so my attack is 2300 Defense, uh, <clears throat> no, it, it's a dead stat for me, in my opinion. You don't need to focus on Elemental Mastery. Unless you're, uh, you're, you're, uh, it depends if you can get a good Elemental Mastery. An insane elemental mastering stance, for example, but that could be a huge damage boost, or maybe not not really that huge. Maybe it's still negligible compared to an attack, but it's gonna be rarely hard to get. But Mayumiya, though, Mayumiya has a a really good elemental mastery stance. Since I can't get can't get the top stance, well, I tried elemental mastery with an R5 rain slasher D look. When he vapes, he does even more damage than uh, and forge at level 80. It was insane, you know. It depends on if your weapon is elemental mastery and you're like doing doing like a vape D look. It's gonna be fine if your weapon is elemental mastery because you're gonna get, <coughs> get attack buff with better. Well, uh, you need to play well with your Mia, or you need to have a shield. <coughs> you can check my your Mia videos. Oh, wow! Where did that come from? Uh, for my your Mia, my usual your Mia team. I don't have her in this account. But I'll try to show you my usual Yemiya team. So, <clears throat> so, if not Kazuha, Sucrose. So, Chivalry will never die. So this is my usual Yemiya team. So I'll just go with go with a uh, sacrificial because I'm lazy with the rotation. So if you're Yumiya, uh, I think the best fur would be Shiminawa, or if you have two a uh, four-piece crimson. So my Yumiya's ratios is, is better than this, seventy percent to hundred. So you need the very decent. You gotta you have to have to learn the rotation. So if you're Yumiya user. Go with Bennett and then Swirl. No, 
forward. And then burst, and then yeah, and then swap to your Mia. You should learn your rotations. But if you're using a uh, training tails, so with Sucro, so that's gonna be different rotations. So let's say this is your Mia. I would usually uh, play like this. Let's see something like this. So I will not use the Bennett first with Sing Cho because they want my Yemiya to have more of time. So something like this. So you need to learn how to use the bird, doesn't it? You need to time your, time your rotations. So. Apply Pyro test. Then Swerve with the Verdescent Then outlines your fate. For me, I will use Joe's Burst Without the Bennett buff And then Bennett buff And then Sh and then Yemiya will have a lot of Bennett Burst up time Well, you need to learn the... the Rotations in the playstyle. Like, you need to like the playstyle. <coughs> you need the right rotations, and along with like energy recharge management. So you can see here. <laughs> My Bennett has 243 energy charge. So it depends on how uh, how you would like your team to perform as well. 